Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth and the life that can set you free. Do you have a uterus? No uterus. Do you own a slave? No, I don't. Actually. Okay, then you have no reason to judge person owning a slave because you don't own one. Somewhere Are else, get out of here. Are you get your shit out of here. Get out of our town. You're full of Piss off. You're we don't need you here. here. You're full of heartache. You. You're full of heartache. Just go. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. We're calling you, every man, women everywhere, to repent and to turn to Jesus Christ. The only way to salvation. The only way to life. My friends, the days are short and life is too short, my friends, to waste it with nothing that is relating to God. Your life will soon end. Some of you may breathe your last in a month from now, or a week from now, but the Bible said, after that comes judgment. It is appointed to you, man wants to die, and after that comes judgment. You are not going to come back as an elephant or as a butterfly, or as a, as, a, as a monkey, or as a bird. You are now coming back as those, as such things. The Bible said, every man, both women, everyone in the grave will rise up, and they will be judged, each one according to their ways. According to their ways, my friends. That means your life matters. What you do in this life matters. Each one will be judged according to their ways and what they have done in the flesh, whether good or bad. And before the judgment day comes, God sent you a Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus died a sinner's death to pay for your sins so that you can have everlasting life. Because you are a pain to God for not listening to the Word of God. Jesus Christ came into the world. He died for you and for me so that He can lead us close to God. But many of you have turned your backs on God. And many of you have turned your backs on God and believe your politicians more than God. You believe your masks more than God. I don't recognize this country anymore. And the reason why is because we have turned our backs on God. And God has given us hard taskmasters. And it's going to get worse. The restriction is going to get worse. This is just the beginning of a pang. If you don't turn from your sins and turn to the living God, you will be enslaved. And many of you are doing it right now. Many of you are so afraid of death. You are so afraid that you wear your mask even in your cars. You are so afraid of death that you wear your mask in, in, in the shower. You are so afraid of death. But when you talk to you about the true and living God, who can judge you and who can destroy you and who can cast you into the lake of fire. You say, no, I don't want to hear about it. But my friends, you will be judged. You're, you're being judged. You right will now. be judged. On the judgment day, God will cast you into the lake of fire if you don't repent and stop corrupting the mind of your children to turn them against God who created them and gave them to you. God is going to bring judgment upon this nation if we don't change our ways. If we don't repent and turn from, from, from our sinful lust, turn from our, our shocking up together with people that we're not married to, turn from homosexuality and lesbianism, turn from lying yeah. to one's neighbor, turn from cheating, worshipping the devil, thinking that you're cool, but you are just a loser like the devil. 
If you're worshiping the devil, you are a loser. Because the devil is a loser. And you are a sinner for worshiping the devil because the Bible says the devil has been sinning from beginning, from the beginning. Why don't you turn to the true and living God and worship Him only? Why do you must why must you worship your money? You worship your fame. Many of you worship social media. Many of you worship social media influencers, influencers. But you don't care about the things of this life. You don't care about the true and living God who created you in your mother's womb, who caused you to stand here, to walk here, to move about and have your being. You have not even acknowledged, acknowledged Him once in your life. But you have acknowledged the viruses that are that, that were created by man in a lab in Wuhan. That's what you're more afraid of than the true and living God. My friends, if you turn your backs on God, God sends you a ta hard taskmaster and he would enslave you. And that's what is going on today. Your politicians are enslaving you. Your politicians are making you do things that you don't even understand that science doesn't even make sense in it but you obey it you follow it why because you are afraid you fear man more than god when god tells you to reorganize your life that it's time to change your ways you treat it as if god uh, you treat it as a foolish game when God tells you to repent, change your ways, stop corrupting the mind of children by reading them gender-bending books, you said, you laugh it off. When God says, stop allowing a man in a dress to read to your children in the library and showing them his underwear, his, showing the children his underwear. That's what our society is going is doing today. Everyone is saying, you know, you have to be understanding. You have to be understanding. You have to be tolerant. You have to be tolerant to wickedness. I'm here to tell you, we can be tolerant to go to righteousness, but don't ever be tolerant to wickedness. Don't ever be tolerant to wickedness. Many of you today are being programmed by the devil. You're being programmed by the devil. You're being programmed that swearing, uh, throwing F-bomb is the best thing you can do. You've been programmed in your mind that you don't need vocabulary in your language, that you have to, sub, uh, you have to replace it with swear words. And you think that by mean that you're swearing means that you're a brave person or that you're more 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 bold person no it means that you are someone who is pathetic but God is calling you today every man every woman everywhere to repent God is calling you not to be losers but to we to be winners and if you don't know God my friend you are a loser I've never talked to him. the Bible said those who are called in Christ Jesus they are the winners in the end Anyone who is outside of Christ Jesus is a loser because the devil lose. The devil has been sinning from day one and many of you are children of the devil. Many of you are not children of God. You know why? Because when you hear the word of God, it makes you angry because you are a children of the devil and not of God. But I'm here to call you today. I'm here to call you to let your eyes be open. Let your eyes be open. God is a God who takes a loser and make him a winner. And God can make you a winner today, but if you reject it, you're going to continue to be loser all your life. And we're calling you today to repent, to change your ways. To change your ways. Repent means change your mind. Many of you today have not changed your mind have not repented many of you think that some of you actually to a point that you believe that 
that men can get pregnant, that men can have babies. Can you believe that? How far our society has sunk in, in, fac in thinking faculties. That it doesn't matter anymore. A person can identify to be a bucket and you, you kindly you want to call them a bucket. A person can identify to be a man in a woman's body and you say that's true, that's good, that's true, that's right. I agree with you. A person can identify as non-gender and you say that's okay. And you will go and read to, to your children and tell them how great this is to be. Shame on us. Shame on us. Shame on this nation on how we have perverted the next generation. We have perverted the mind of children. We believe that gender is, 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 is fluid. We believe that gender has nothing to do with sex. We believe that gender has nothing to do with, with sexuality. My friend, that is, that is hogwash. First class nonsense. That's first class nonsense. When you believe that to a point that a man can walk into a, into a bathroom of a woman and, and you're supposed to not say anything. A man can walk into your into the washroom where women, where where my daughter will be go is going to the washroom, and I should say that's okay because he belongs there. You, your mind, your mind needs to be made over. Your mind needs to be changed, my friends. Your mind needs to be changed. You need to make your mind over. Jesus Christ is calling everyone here today to repent. He's calling every man, every woman everywhere today to repent. Change your ways. Change your ways. Stop corrupting your children's mind. Stop killing your babies in the womb. It's wrong. It's wrong and it's wicked. It's evil and wicked. Jesus Christ is calling you to be set free today. Stop turning your ears off to the Word of God. Stop thinking in your mind delusion. Delu this. Stop believing in this delusion that a man can get pregnant. It's delusional. Jesus Christ is calling you to come out of delusion. To come to sound mind. To sound mind. Stop murdering children in the womb. Stop corrupting the mind of children by reading them gender bending books. Stop telling the children that being gay is great. It's not. Stop telling children that being transsexual is great. It's not. Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth and the life that can set you free. Do you have a uterus? No uterus. Do you own a slave? No, I don't. Okay, then you have no reason to judge a person owning a slave because you don't own one. I know where your logic is coming from. And you don't have a uterus, so you can't judge So because I don't have a uterus, I can't make a decision about killing a child is wrong? But it's not a child. Do you own a slave? No. Is killing a, is owning a slave a wrong thing? Yes. Well, you have no moral judgment to make that decision because you don't own a slave. Go home, Antifa! Only when you go own home. a slave. Go, go home! Go home! When you own a slave, then you can come and talk to me. When you own a slave, you can come talk to me. Okay? You telling me that you home. Go home. You telling me that if I off your head. You telling me that if I don't have out of North Vancouver. Okay. Go. So this get out of here. This, go. No, go away. You're full of you're full of hate. You're full of hate. You're full of hate. Go away. Go so away. You are telling get out of here, boy. I'm trying to have a conversation here, sir. I'm trying to have a conversation here. Go away. So you're telling me if I don't have a uterus, I don't have a if I don't have a uterus. Child, you don't get an opinion. If I don't, you don't have to carry the child for nine months. You don't have to get rid of the child. You don't own slaves. You don't own slaves. You can't make decisions about a slave. You're supposed to spread love. Yeah, my friend. This is not spreading love.
this is it's not you, you guys are so bred out of no, your out no, of your no, mindhood you that you don't know what you what love is no, and what hey, hate no. is. You say you're Christian. Yes, right? yeah. a Christian will stand no. for children. No. Christians are supposed no. to spread. All no. children. This is not a Christian. We hear the spread. Hell, go. Okay, guys, we hear the spread hate, hate against sin. We're here to spread hate against wickedness. We're here to spread hate against abortion, killing children. We are here to spread hate, holy hatred. Talk to the hands. Holy hatred. Get out of our town. You're full of hate. Piss off. We don't need you here. You're full of hate. You're full of hate. Just go. Just go away. I don't. I don't. I have. There's no manhood left in this guy. Jesus Christ came into the world to speak hatred towards sin. So I hate sin, yes. If you are killing a child in the womb, I hate that. Yes, it's called holy hatred. You don't own a slave either. Shut the fuck up, you're not- You don't own a slave. Do you own a slave? What the fuck does that have to do with slavery? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Well, you don't have anything It does. You don't have any more, you don't have any manhood in you. You don't know what the fuck You think by swearing makes you a slave? You think by swearing, you are messed up. Are you gay? Are you gay? Your ass somewhere Are else. You gay? Go out of here. Are Are you get your shit out of here. Are you Stick gay? it up your butt somewhere Are you else. Gay? Go on, get out of here. Christian. You nutcase. I'm a Christian. Get out of here, you yes. nutcase. You we don't need you, you here, Antifa. Love Antifa, go home, Antifa. Go home, Satan. Go home, Satan. Go home. I love evil. Satan, go home. I hate evil. Hey, Antifa, go home. Go home, Antifa. And Tifa, go home. Jesus Christ is go calling home. you today. Go to hell. Even this go man, to hell. This Jesus you are going to hell. Go straight also. to hell, you and Tifa. Jesus son also of a bitch. died for this man. You son of a Even bitch. You go straight hate. to hell. Even though Get out of our hate, town. Jesus Get out Don't of touch our me town. or you go to jail. Get out of our town. Don't touch me, you go, go to jail. Out of town. Go. Get out of here. I'm not going. Piss off. Get out of here. Don't create conflict in our city. No. Get out of here. No. Come here you're just full of hot air. You're just full of hot air. Bullshit. You're just full of hot air. Just go. You can't. You can't articulate. You have nothing to articulate. But okay, a lady just told me that if I don't have an ovary, I can't say that killing a child in the womb is wrong because I don't have an ovary. Go to hell. That is what. Go to hell. That's how I hell. Our people go think. Go to hell. I see that you need to know. You need to own a slave. You believe in to, God. To believe that God. slavery is wrong. Blah, blah, I don't have to own a slave. Blah, blah. I don't have to own a slave. Peace. Go to hell. I don't have to own a slave blah, to believe blah, that slavery blah, is wrong. That's hell, what this human is saying to me. Look at this. Look at this. You fucking look at this. Don't, 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 don't me, touch me. Don't touch me. This. Don't tell touch me. me. This means. You're not a man. 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 See, that's what happened. Our society have sissified the man. Guess who's clapping for you? Our society has sissified the man. You're a pedophile. There are children around here. There's a pedigram. There are children around here. Get out of there, fucking saint. Can you believe it? That's what our society has reduced to. This kind of person. The moon. A place where there's a place where there are children. This guy took off his pants. Took off his shorts. That was a pedigram attack. You're a pedophile. That's my religion. That's my religion. You're a pedophile. That's my religion. You're part of your pedigram. Satanism is my religion. Give me my space. Give me my space. That's my religion. Yeah, you can moon children. That's your your mind is Satan. Is my religion your mind is and corrupted. the pentagram in my ass? Your mind is corrupted. Anyone that can do it, anyone they want. You're not a man. Yes, I am. You're not a man. Yes, but I can show you the manhood man has been bred out of you. You're not a man. You're a sissy. You're a sissy man. If a man, a real man, will not come and take their pants off in front of children, that's not a real man. You're not a real man, sir. You need to grow up. Just grow up. A lot of men. So-called men today are, are babies walking around in men's body. So I have a question. They're not. They have no. They have no think thinking faculties. They can reason. They cannot articulate themselves. What makes you a man? If they because respect another woman's body and respect what she wants to do with her body. What makes you a man? For it's not her body. Can... Last time I checked, you don't have two heartbeats. I'm sorry. Is this my body? I'm gonna do whatever I damn please with it. You don't get.
inside no, me. No, you don't get to kill somebody because is of your body. Is there somebody inside me? Is there yes. an actual person? Yeah. Oh, really? really? What were you before? Huh? When did this, when did this become a, a person? When did this become a person? What stage? At what stage does this become a person? When I was born. Or just like when he was born? First one. When he was born. See, your mind are twisted. Really? You don't believe that it, this this is a human being. No, that is, you see, that's the mind of a Nazi. Nazi, the first thing that Jews are not human being, and then they put them to a gas chamber. You degrade, you degrade the life. What I can do with my You degrade the life. It's not your body. It is. Don't my open body. your legs. This is my damn body. Don't open your legs this next is time. My damn body. Well, then don't open your legs next time. Uh -huh. Yes, you made the choice, and it, and that's the result of having sex. I'm not and so, so it's your it's your choice. You can choose to close your legs. Whatever I damn please. Exactly. It's legal. Yes. It's legal. Look, she said it's legal. Abortion is legal, so that makes it okay. Do you know? Do you know that in the? Do you, do you know that in the? Do you know that in 1938, it's legal to kill Jews? Does that make it right? Oh, it's legal, so I can kill my baby because it's legal. It was, it was legal. Yeah, the Nazis said that the Jews are not human. That's exactly the same mindset. That's exactly the same mindset. Your mind and the Nazi mind is the same. The Nazis say that the Jews are not human. You say that this is not a baby. This is not a human. It's not. It's no different from a Nazi. Your mind is no different from a Nazi. You see, we, we just created we just created a bunch of Nazis in little bodies today. In, in university, we go to university to create more Nazis and we pump them out of the street to, to spew the same thing that they were spewing in 1938. Do you know that in 1938, being a Jew is not a human? Jew is not a human in 1938, Germany. That's exactly what you are doing. When a society is judged by how they treat their own kind. A society is judged by how they treat life. I am for life, you for death. I'm for life, you are for death. But if you want to come over to Jesus Christ, then you can have life. And you have Buddha is dead. Buddha is dead. I don't care about Buddha. I don't care about Buddha is dead. Who about the other religions? Buddha is a dead man. I don't follow dead men. Don't come preaching a secular religion here, you son of a bitch. Don't come here dividing our people. dead men. Buddha is dead. You have no right here. None. None. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. You go talk to Buddha. You go talk to you go talk to the other great people. Don't come you're here. Saying, preach your you're saying a lot of words, but you're not you're saying fake anything. Christianity, don't you're come you're here and you're, 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 you're embarrassing your sister. You're a bastard. You're embarrassing your sister. You're a bastard of religion. You're an embarrassment. You're here, you're here to divide and conquer. That's what you're doing. You're embarrassing you're people. You're embarrassing them. That's all you are. Walk here. away. You have no right here. Walk away. Go take your the freedom of religion. Elsewhere. Take your opinion somewhere. No, I have every right to have an opinion Stay over there. as much as you just put so your, i can tell you you want to hear one people, leg in I front of the other you. just keep going yes, off. Go just keep hell. walking go to hell you just son of a bitch no you will go be there go to hell you the son of a bitch you'll be there with the go devil. to hell you're here to divide i know you the, sir i yes. see it Jesus i see it in you wickedness. you are a divider yes. you're antifa antifa go you're a wicked man sir you're a wicked man antifa go home you are a wicked man, so go. Just walk away Jesus, before we call the police on you. Jesus will go. forgive you for talking like this to people because Jesus would have never spoken Oh, Jesus condemned to wicked anybody. people. He condemned oh, wicked man. people, yes. He Christianity with you. Who wants to be forgiven? He forgives those who want to be forgiven. Not those who doesn't want to be forgiven. He doesn't want to be forgiven. He wants to be. He wants. He thinks he's better than God. You secular bastard, you religious freak, go home. Are you done? <laughs> are you done? 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 Are you done?
Are you done? Say, get out of here. Are you done? Go home. Are you done? Get out of our city. Are you done? We don't want you here. What? You understand it? We don't want you here. You are not Go home. Go home. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ came into the world to seek and save that which was lost. And this man over here can be saved. Even though this man hates God, as much as this man hates God, he can be saved. As much What a liar. Jesus Christ can set you free. Stop killing your babies. It's evil and wicked. Stop killing your babies, dehumanizing them. Yes. You go and have sex and you think that the best thing is to kill the children. Stop killing your children. And you say, well, it's legal in Canada. In 1938, it was, it was legal to kill Jews. Killing a Jewish person! Shut up! A Jewish, a Jewish human being? A, a Jewish human being? The Nazis said that Jews are not people. Leave our children alone, you bastard! Go! 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 Okay. You think no. I swear? I've do heard a lot of swear person? words. Do you have a womb? Do you have a womb? Can do you, you have can you one? Birth? Can you birth? Yes. Go. No. Do you have no. one? Can you birth? Oh, last you time can't. I checked, so you can't have any say. Oh, last time I checked, body. women, no. men can get pregnant. Last time I checked, you can't speak on a woman's body. Last time You're I checked, fucking can, woman. Hey, can a man get? Can a man get pregnant? No, they cannot. Yeah. So why the fuck? This man said that men cannot get pregnant. Why the fuck are you not talking of women? Why why are you talking of women's bodies? You don't you're not a woman. You don't have a pussy. Are you are you own a slave? What does that have to do with it? It does have a lot of no, things to do with tell it. Me, tell, tell me, tell me. Do you own a slave? Tell me. Tell have me you owned a slave why? before? No. Tell me. Is why? slavery wrong? Yes. yes. Well, you have no moral base to make that judgment because you never owned a what slave the fuck before. Are you talking about? It's, it's about. exactly what you are saying. You just don't get it. No, you don't. You get just it. don't get it. Get it. You notice you're all being filmed. You don't get it. You see, they're filming you. Yeah, for people like you. you. I've for got people nothing. like you. These guys are yeah. bastards. Yeah, this kind of people come and they steal your thing and they lie to the police that they don't do. They didn't do anything. Bill Gates to come here and create the vision. Don't read, don't read, just focus, focus. Get out of my face, bastard. Go, sir. Just go on, go on. Go home, Antifa. <laughs> you, think, you think my swearing makes you brave? Bill Gates, hey Billy boy, we're coming for ya! You'll be all we're coming all be for ya! I love it! People will be laughing at you! We're coming for ya, Bill! People will laugh at you! Oh my god, I, they can laugh they all they laugh want! At you. We're coming <laughs> for ya! I love you! Go home! I'm here to divide the kingdom of darkness! Go home! Pastor. You can come to Jesus! Go home! Even this man! Even this man! Man can be changed. Go Even home, this man can be changed by God. Go home, Antifa. Don't give me you your blasphemy. You go home, you Even bastard. Are you done? Go home. Are you done? When you go home, I'm done. <laughs> Pass off. Oh, you gonna be here? Pass all night. off. You gonna be here? Get night. the hell you out of here. here. You're not welcome here. <laughs> This is our residence. No, you're not. Go back to wherever the hell you came go from. Go back to hell where you came from. Go home and go home and do your suck it. Go home and you watch suck your it. pornographies go and all your films. Go suck Just go it, home and do your stuff. You leave us alone. It. Leave us alone. Go, go home and do your watch your pornography and leave us Get alone. Go home. Just go home, sir. Go home. Piss off.
Jesus can set you free. Go home. If you turn to Jesus Christ, you will have eternal life. But if you live your life based on all of these, if you live your life based on living this lifestyle, you will be judged. But if you repent of your sin, Jesus, you can be set free. Get if you here. repent, You're this, nothing here. even this man, if he repents of his Get sin, he will Get be saved. He doesn't even know Get what religious here. freedom is. Get you don't know what Get religious up. freedom Get is. Out of here. You don't know what Get freedom of speech is. He's a Marxist. That's a Marxist. That's the way Marxists begin. Loud is you, louder than you, bastard. Where did you Get go to school? Here. You have no right here. Where did you Get go to school, here. sir? Get out of here. You fucking shut it down. Out of town. Piss off. See you later. See you later. Phone him. Phone him. Phone, him. Phone, him. Phone, him. Phone him. Jesus, too. What a Marxist. Tell him to come pick up his cronies. This man is a Marxist. Piss off. Piss off. Go home. This is called a Marxist tactics. That's the, that's the tactics of Marxists. You. you have no business here. You're a Marxist, Get sir. Get out of here. You're a Marxist. Go straight to hell. Yes, you hate religious freedom. You hate the freedom of speech. Get out of here. You got legs. You can walk away. You don't have to be you here. No place here. But as a Marxist, hey, as friends, a trained Marxist, friends, he wants to stay here. Coming. The police are coming, and I'm going to take care of the oxen. Coming. We're Turn from your sins. Turn to Jesus Christ. Don't go straight to hell. Your brains are fried. Go to hell. Go to hell. Your brain is fried, sir. Turn from your sin. Turn from your sin. Turn from your sin, sir. Repent. My friend, this is not a joke. Get out of Dodge. This is not a joke. Get out of here. You need to repent of your sin. It's not a joke. Get out of here. Don't mind this man over here. Many of you will go home tonight. You may die tonight and you may never come back here. Today. May be your day for salvation. Today may be your day for salvation. Go piss off. Turn to Jesus Christ for everlasting life. Get behind me, Satan. Get behind me, Satan. Heal Satan. Get behind me, Satan. Go away, Satan. Jesus Christ can set you free. Get out of here. Jesus Christ can set you free. Jesus Christ is not going to do anything. Jesus Christ. What about Buddha? What about Buddha? Buddha is dead. Don't touch my. Don't touch my property. Don't touch my property. I'm not doing anything. Don't touch my property, sir. Don't touch my property. Get out of town. Stay six feet away from me, sir. Six feet. Get out of here. Go away. Stay six feet away from me. Get out of our. Get out of our neighborhood. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth. You know what? You actually made us. We're gonna come back again. Get out of our neighborhood. Go home. You made it possible for us to Get come back again. We're gonna come back again. Go away. So that we can deal with Get people like you. Oh. And then you can come and, I'm and try ask to you where you stick your crucifix. Cru don't ask me or don't blame me. You can stick your crucifix and everything else wherever you want to. I'm not a sodomizer like you. Go away. Get out of town. Get out of town. Get out of town. Get out of town. You have no right here. Yes, we do. We do have right to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have a voice too. Yes, but you can't come in front of me. You can't come in front of me. My voice. You can't come in front of me. Come in here with your You can be over there and voice yourself. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus Christ. Repent of your masturbation. Repent of your fornication. Repent. Repent of your pornography. No, we want your bullshit. You. Take your bullshit out. You are a Marxist. You need to learn. You need to turn to Jesus I'm Christ. Stand here as long as these guys stand. Stop here. being. Try to feed you full of bullshit. You're just wasting your time, sir. You're making yourself out to be an idiot. Uh, absolutely not. Yes. Sir. You're I'm not here preaching. Yes. I'm not preaching. Everybody's everybody's watching you on YouTube right now. Division in a multicultural society. Multi. Yeah. Yeah, multiculture yeah. is not killing we babies. We have a creator above us. We have Allah. You don't have... We have... <laughs>
<laughs> we don't need division from Christianity. You guys, we don't need it. We don't need it. Oh, now he's preaching. He's preaching now. <laughs> I am a preacher. I'm a preacher, a preacher from the Creator, the of the not a secular creature. A preacher that only preaches. Oh, no, I will preach where I want. I will preach here. May God strike you down. And you will burn him up. Oh, bring, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Strike me. It's okay. It's Strike okay. me. He's, he's going to. He's... If I speak the dog of the you strike me again. Strike me. You don't masturbate. Strike me dead. I know I see through you. I see through you. Ah, you're a good theater, sir. You are a good theater. You guys are full of shit. You're a good theater. We're here to create conflict you're a good theater. amongst our peers. The only one creating Get out of is town. you. You don't belong here. You don't live here. The only one creating Pass is you. Off. The only one creating Go chaos home. here is you. Go home. It's you. We're, Get out of town. we're not going anywhere. Get out of town. Do you watch pornography, I'm, let's sir? Let's see how big it is, asshole. Do you watch Bring pornography, it out right sir? Right here, I'll chop watch, it off for you. Do you watch pornography? Stick it out. Get out of here. I'm not a pervert like Get you. Get out of here, you're vulgar. I'm not a you pervert like you. Hey, you don't like your own business. You don't like your own. You see, this off. guy and another like guy came that. here and pulled Get down his pants. Get out of here. And pulled down his pants and showed his butt to children. That's the kind of people you are. Take your shit out of here. Yes. Take your shit out of here. My people Take your shit out of here. Jesus Christ can set you free if you turn to him today. Take it out of here. Get Jesus here. is the only way, Get the truth, and the life. Go to hell. You cannot come through Buddha. Go out of hell. You cannot come through Muhammad. You cannot come through Krishna. Only Jesus Christ. Oh, only through bullshit. him you can come to God. Bullshit. Yes. It's to you it sounds like that. You're full of shit. But it's a good news to those who love the truth. We have a great creator. Yes. We have a, have a totem crew for creator. spiritual being yes. above us, guiding us. Yes. God is not guiding you, sir. It's everything. It's all of us. You're not, you're not being, it's not guiding you. Come together. You're being guided by the devil. You're being guided by the devil. You are doing the devil's work. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just here to rattle your heart one secular religion. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the only way. Everybody is welcome. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Bullshit. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Bullshit. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Why you go to action? Jesus is the only way. Turn to Jesus Christ and you will have everlasting life. Turn to Jesus Christ and you will have life and you will have it in place. Jesus is the only way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father except through Him. You can come to Jesus Christ today. All you have to do is turn from your sins. All you have to do is turn from your sin and your righteousness and you will have eternal life. Jesus Christ can set you free. Free. Jesus Christ can set you free. He is full of shit. Turn from your sin. Don't be like this man. Don't be like this man over here who resists the God. Don't be like this man here who resists the word of God. Turn from your sins and turn to Jesus Christ that you will have life and have it in full. Anyone here who believes that they can kill a child in a womb is an evil person. Anyone that... Get a blood. This, blah, blah, blah. this man believes that you can kill a child in a womb. He believes in the murder of innocence. This man believes in the murder of innocence. He believes that you can murder your babies. That's what this woman is... is this guy is... You, that's why you find an abortion clinic, you find a lot of witches. You find a lot of witches and devil Satan worshippers that work in abortion clinics. Burn the witches! 
Christianity Jesus burned is the witches. The way, you treated witches. You treated women like shit. So people like How you that burn you witches. That? People have no moral judgment. Religion, religion burned the witches. So I'm Your to religion to you. burned hey, you the witches. You don't have to yell at me. You don't have to yell at me. You can talk to me. You can talk to me. You brought a speaker. Okay, talk to me. You don't have a mask. I don't know. You take your step back. Okay. Okay, talk to me. Okay, so are you saying if I'm gay, I'm going to go to hell? Yes, that's what God okay, said. My baby, I'm going to go to hell? That's what God said. Okay, so if all gay people are going to hell, I'm going to tell you it doesn't sound like such a bad place after all. No, it's a bad place. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> like have you, have you thought about, have, have, you, have, you have you been in a burning building before? Can you to step back, please? Have you been in a burning building? Have you been in a burning building? Can you step back, please? You asked me a question. You don't have a mask. Yeah, I could just step back a little You don't have a mask either. Okay. Okay, Mr. Clarence, back. Yeah, put on your face diaper. That's fine. Step back. That's fine. Put on your face diaper. So if you if you you're more have you been in a burning building before? Have you been in a burning building before? I want to get out of there Do quick as fast as I can. Before? So there the so there will be no there will be no partying in the, in the lake you of fire. Don't have a uterus. If you don't want to talk to me, I'll put on my mic you on. I can put on my mic back on if you don't want to. If you if you're gonna yell over me. Do you want everybody to hear what you're saying to me? Do you want everyone to know you're yelling at Jesus? I can get on my phone or I can talk to you like a human being or we can... Or we can... See, it's, it, this, is, this is sexualizing women. Sorry? Even the way you dress I'm right sorry, now. Is my body yes, sexual, it's my body, my choice, my, choice, my oh body. My that's that's the kind of girl. Yes, that's not uh, that's not appropriate. That's that's sin too. You're sexualizing a teenage girl. That's sin. That's sin also. I agree with you. That's sin also. My friend, you you have to have you have a man you have a man bred out of you. I wanna be in a public and I, I don't wanna be I don't wanna be in a public and looking at and and, and, and having to look at a woman's cleavage. Okay? It might not be appropriate, but she can do it. Yes, but I have I have the right to say that's wrong. Yeah, no, but she can do it. But I have the right to say that's wrong. This gentleman has been wrong. No, it's wrong. No, do you know the Bible? You, you, you know the Bible. No, I'm not. It's not me. It's God. Times. It's God. No, but who do you think you are to define that who's wrong or bad? Really? You're nobody to define what's wrong or bad. Really? Yeah, you're nobody. Really? Who do you think you are? Is rape wrong? What's that? Is raping a woman wrong? Who, it, you, you're nobody to the I said it's, a, it's raping a woman wrong. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? This man believes man. he doesn't know whether raping a woman is wrong. Man, you, but is you, this you what neither, you believe? You neither. Nobody is allowed. Yeah, yeah. Can I speak with you? Yes. Let's step aside and have a chat. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, we're coming back. Okay. Yeah. I respect you guys have a right to voice your opinion. Yeah. Obviously, it's very busy here tonight. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that are being very confrontational. Well, well, I, I don't. I, if they're confrontational with me, I'll call the police. Yeah. That's I don't. Right. That's that's their that's their right. They have the right to disagree with me, but they don't have the right to get personal. If they do that, I send them. I send them to jail. I'll call the police. I'm, I keep my I keep my distance from them. We're here to have a a, a conversation. But there are agitators here that just want to agitate things. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't care about those people. If they come to me to touch me, I'm, I'm like, like this man. Yeah. He's been following me around, and he hasn't touched me. Best if you did it another time. When, like, but we we don't we we were it's not uh, we're not the problem. They're the problem. You guys, that. I was yeah. assaulted. We're saying I that we appreciate what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, we but, just obviously don't want you guys to be put in harm's way. But can I, I? I can preach in Canada. It's it's not a can. It, can. yes. But so, but I, if I'm put in a wrong way, then you guys have to arrest the person, well, right? Explain to protect you from this number of people. It's okay. I have a I have a body camera. I can I can always I they ID the person and call the police. That's the other thing. Well, I'm not gonna be here. All night we're gonna be here till we we uh, till till we, we get the message out and then we leave. That's what we are here for. This guy has uh, been bothering me all day. So my friends, repent of your sin, for the day of judgment is coming. Repent, turn to Jesus Christ for everlasting life to be yours. If you 
My friend, I could, if you believe that killing a child in the womb is is okay, then you are a mo on a moral slide. Yeah, thank you, sir. God bless you. So, the people, all the people that oppose us are the people who think it's okay to kill a baby in the womb. What kind of a society are we raising up? What kind of a society are we raising up? Jesus Christ came into the world to save all those who want to be saved. And that could be you today. That could be you. This is not a show, my friends. This is not a joke. There's a day of judgment coming. There's a day of judgment coming, my friend. When all those in the grave will rise up again and they will be judged, each one according to their ways. And those whose name is not found written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. My friend, and you come to Jesus Christ is the only way that you can be set free. Turning to Jesus Christ is the only way that you can be set free. Even though, even if you're this man, you can be set free. If, even if this man repents of his sin today or tomorrow, God can forgive him still. But he does not want to repent. He does not want to repent. But I'm here to tell you today: turn from your sins and turn to this to say to the Savior Jesus Christ. Turn from your sin and turn to the Savior Jesus Christ. If you gay, stop it. Stop being gay. If you homos, if you lazy. Stop it! Shut up! Stop it! God bless you! Stop it! Don't let them bother you! The Amen. Holy Spirit, you've done your job! The Holy Spirit is here! Amen. And something's gonna get them tonight when they're sleeping! And Amen. they're gonna wake up! In Amen. the name of Jesus! Amen! Thank you, sister! Thank you, sister! You, well, praise God! Keep doing your thing! Man. Thank you! I am one! Yes, my friend! There are more people in Canada. There are more people in Canada that are that are more than the wicked. The wicked are just vocal minority. You are nothing but a vocal minority. You are not the majority. You, because you're not the majority, you want to raise your voice to me to sound like you are the majority. But you are not a majority. Everybody went home. There is a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here. Go, just go away, go away, just go away, sir. We'll come back again because of you. Thank you. Jesus Christ can set you free today. You can turn from your sins and you can come to righteousness because Jesus Christ gave his life as a ransom for you so that you can have life and that you can have life in abundance. Right? Officer, this man pulled down his pants and showed his butt to children right here in front of us. I got him on tape. This man, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. You can have eternal life today. You can have everlasting life today. All you have to do is to repent, change your ways. If you are masturbator, stop masturbating. If you are homosexual, stop being homosexual. If you watch pornography, stop it. Turn from your sin so that God will clean your mind. Jesus Christ calls you today to come so that you can have everlasting life. If you don't know Jesus Christ, my friend, you will be a loser. But all those who come to Jesus Christ become winners, not losers. So don't be a loser, my friend. The devil is a loser. And anybody that follows the devil is a loser as well. But Jesus Christ came into the world to take winners and make them... So to take losers and make them winners and take winners into heaven 
My friend, you need to repent. You need to repent. The Bible said that for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believe in Him will not perish, but they will have everlasting life. Even this man, even this man that cursed us out, he's, he, Jesus can still forgive him. Jesus can still forgive him. Because we know what's going on in the mind of people. We know what's going on in the mind of people. People think that the life is a foolish game. People believe, think that, that they came from amoeba. People think that they came from, 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 uh, from, from bacteria. That's why they have to behave the way they are behaving. When you believe, when your world you believe is that your forefathers are apes, you're going to behave like apes. When you believe that your forefathers are animals, you are going to begin to act like animals. That is what your worldview makes up what you believe. Your worldview makes up what you do. My friends, I want you to know that Jesus Christ can set you free today. I want you to know that there is a way of eternal life. I want you to know that there is a hope for you if you turn from your sins. Jesus Christ can take away your sins. The Bible said He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The Lamb of God is Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. And He can take away your sins today. Whatever your sin is, you may be a liar, you may be someone who's cheats, cheat, who cheats on your, on your spouse. My friend, Jesus Christ say if you confess your sin and believe in Him and stop doing those things, you can have eternal life. You may be a liar. Jesus Christ is calling you to repent, to change your mind. You may be someone who's shacking up with another man that is not your wife, or shacking up with another woman that is that another another woman that is not your husband and not not your wife. You can be saved. All of those things can be saved. Every sin that you have committed, you can be a murderer. You can be a you can be a foul mouth, you can be a foul, a, a party mouth, but Jesus Christ can cleanse your mouth and make it brand new again. You can be someone who likes other, someone who's a homosexual. Jesus Christ can call, can save you. You can be someone who's a lazy bill. Jesus can save you. He can set you free from being a lazy bill. You can be someone who's a transsexual. That Jesus can take you and transform you into the person that whom God has created you to be. We call you today to, 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 to stop getting drunk on the weekend and getting laid. Get saved, my friends. Get saved. Come, come out of your sins. Turn to Jesus Christ. Stop drinking. Stop thinking that life is about drinking and sex. If your life revolves around drinking and sex, your life is too short and your worldview is too small. God is calling you to repent. God is calling you to repent. Stop. He doesn't he does not love everyone who loves sinning. God does not love anyone who loves sinning. The Bible says Satan has been sinning from beginning. And so anyone who loves sinning, he loves the devil. Anyone who loves to sin, who loves to kill a child in the womb, is serving the devil. Anyone who shed the blood of innocence is serving the devil. He's not serving God. My friend, don't, tell, don't, don't corrupt your mind and thinking that whatever you believe, whatever you believe is true when you don't know God. When you don't know God, my friend, you are brainwashed. If you don't know God, your mind is your, your mind is not doesn't exist anymore because the Bible said a fool have said in his heart that there is no God listen to what a fool has said a fool has said in his heart that there is no God and that is why this country is acting the way they are acting today because they don't believe in the true and living God and those who believe act like he doesn't exist they, 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 they say they believe but they go in the darkness and they practice things that are not righteous 
like the, a man here come to us and tell us that we are here to divide. Yes, we are here to divide the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. That is what Jesus came to do. Jesus came to divide the kingdom of darkness. And I'm here today to tell you, if you're living in the kingdom of darkness, I am here to put a divide, division between you. Jesus said, I came not to bring peace, but a sword in this earth. I came to set a man against his, his mother, a, 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 a female against his mother-in-law. Why? Because when the, when, the, when, the, when the woman changes, the husband doesn't want to change. There's a divide. When a husband believes that he's an ape in human body, and the wife believes that God created us in his image, and the wife wants to follow Jesus, that brings a divide. My friend, we're here. Jesus Christ said he's going to divide. He's going to bring division. He's going to divide people like a shepherd divide the sheep and the goats. And he's going to put the goats on his left side. And he's going to put the sheep on his right side. You are a filthy woman. Jesus said, Jesus said, that's why, no wonder why you guys are getting more, or, more ugly and more filthy as you get older. You're not, you're not living a life that is pleasing to God. I'm calling you today that to repent and have your, your mind changed by God. Your mind can be changed by God today. All you have to do is turn from your sin, turn from your masturbation, turn from your sexual immoral, immorality, turn from your lying and cheating. Stop lying. Speak true to one another. Stop lying. Tell the truth. Jesus said, stop corrupting the mind of children. Stop telling them that, that gender is fluid. Stop telling children that it's okay to believe in a lie. Stop corrupting the mind of children. God is going to judge everyone who continue to do such. Our society today is, has corrupted itself. Our society today has believed has done away with reality and they are walking in fantasy stop living in fantasy open your eyes there is a god in heaven who created you there's a god in heaven who is calling you to repent there's a god in heaven who put you together in your mother's womb and and have you live and have you live but yet you don't have the you don't have the decency to allow a child in the womb to live so our society has made the womb a, a dangerous place for a child because of all of our policies that we put into that we have put in place our policies that are of the devil we're not following god anymore our society is following the devil and everyone is walking around as if life is a foolish game everyone is walking about thinking as if that they are promised tomorrow as if you're promised two hours from now you are not promised two hours from now you are not promised tomorrow you may die tonight some of you may die of drug overdose or alcohol poisoning tonight some of you may just your heart may just stop and what would you do where would you find yourself you find yourself in the lake of fire if you don't know jesus christ the bible say choose for yourself today who you must serve as for me and my house we will serve the living god choose for yourself if your father is the devil follow him but if your father is god the most high follow him don't continue to twist your, your mind and walk in two different conflicting opinions. If you believe life is sacred, protect life, whether it's in the womb or whether it's outside the womb. Don't walk around in contradictions. Don't try to apply the truth only when it fits you. And then, and then when it doesn't fit your narrative, you, you abandon it. That is what our society is doing today. A bunch of hypocrites walking around. People who believe in contradiction. Stop living a contradictory lifestyle. Stop living a contradictory lifestyle. Don't say you are for, for life and then but you, you kill them in the womb. 
Don't say you are for 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 uh, for freedom of speech, but when someone is preaching about God on the streets, you want to shut them down. What about making omelets? <laughs> that is that is the righteous the, the the foolishness of this world. Is that a drive-by attack? Is that a, a drive-by insult? We can take it, sir. We can take drive-by insults. I know the reason why people insult us is because they don't know the truth. The reason why people insult us is because they, don't, they worship the devil. The devil is their daddy. Satan, if Satan is your daddy, you are a loser. If Satan is your daddy, you are a loser. Because the Satan, the Bible said Satan in the end loses. Satan in the end was cast into the lake of fire. So if you're following the devil, you are a loser. And Jesus Christ is calling you today to be a winner. Jesus Christ is coming to make you a winner. Turn from being a loser to a winner. Jesus can do that for you. You have to turn from your sins today. You have to turn from your sin and turn to righteousness. Obey God. Trust in the Lord God with all your heart and your mind and your soul. And do not lean upon on your own understanding. Many people today are leaning on their own understanding. They think that God doesn't exist because I haven't seen God. That's leaning on your own understanding. That the Bible said, in all our ways to acknowledge God. Have you acknowledged God today? Do you acknowledge God today? Or are you walking around thinking that God doesn't exist? My friend, anyone who thinks that God does not exist is a fool. The Bible said a fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Are you someone who is, is canceling God out of your mind? The Bible says God will cancel you in the, la in, the, in, the, in the end. God will judge you and will throw you into the lake of fire. So I will not here to have concert. But we can share the gospel with you. Jesus Christ can save you. God bless. Jesus Christ can save you. Already has, brother. You don't. You don't have to get drunk on the weekend. You don't have to. You heard about Jesus? I hear he's quite forgiving. He you is. Should check him out. He he's is. Quite forgiving. He's quite forgiving to you those who. Take this? Huh? You can read about him in here. It's got all sorts of good stuff. Well, that's that's ours actually. No, I, I made this. You no, keep it. Um, um, that's ours. You don't want it? I'll leave it here for you. You don't want it? Yeah, we can give it to someone who wants it. You, you just drop. You just dropping your everlasting life on the floor. You just dropped your life. You just you just dropped your life, my friend. You just dropped your chance. You just dropped your chance. Every time people live, God will give you chances to repent. God will put chances in every part of your life to help you to repent. But some people keep throwing that chance away. Those chances away, and and to a point that there will be no remedy left. So my friends, turn from your sins, turn to Jesus Christ for eternal life so that you can live. Jesus is the only way. Jesus died for the sins of the whole world in order that he may lead you to God. You have to acknowledge him with all your heart. Turn your heart to God. Give your heart to God today. My friends, your politicians will not save you. Mask will not save you. No policy you put in place will save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. My friends, my friends, big farmer cannot save you. Jesus can save you. Farmer cannot, farmer does not save. Big farmer does not save. Jesus saves. And turn to Jesus today. Turn away from Big Pharma. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn away from politicians, crooked politicians. Jesus can set you free. Turn away from, from, from TikTok. All the things you see online on social media that is corrupting your mind and the mind of your children. Turn away from these things. How do we come to this as a nation? to believe that it's okay to kill a child in a womb. How do we come to this? 
How do we come to believe that it's okay to murder a, ch murder a child in a womb? How do we think it's okay? But that's what we do today. Do you know that many witches work in an abortion clinic? There's a lot of Satanists that work in abortion clinics. Do you know that some of the things, some of the vaccines you take in your, in your body is grown in a, in a body of a baby, in a body of a fetus? But my friends, these things should not be happening. This is how our generation is corrupted. This is where our nation has come to. To a point that we murder a child in a womb and we sell their body parts to, to, pharma, to, to pharmaceutical company to use the body of babies to grow vaccine, to grow viruses and make vaccines and then inject it in your body. How, how twisted is that? How twisted is that? How twisted is that? That you take a child in a womb and kill them. How twisted your mind is. Anyone here that believes that killing a child in a womb is, is a virtue, that person is working for the devil. Stop working for the devil. Stop drinking the devil's Kool-Aid. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to the Savior that you may have life and have it in abundance because Jesus Christ is calling you to do that. Jesus Christ is calling you today to repent. Repent means change your ways. Change your ways. Turn from righteous to from wickedness to righteousness. Turn from immorality to morality. Turn from sexual perversion to sexual cleanness. Turn from sleeping around to being married and having children, raising families. That's what God created you to do. That's what God created a woman to do, is to have children, to bring up children into this world. I know there's some young people don't understand that today. Some young people don't understand that women actually have babies. Our society so has corrupted the mind of these minors that they don't know whether, whether they are coming or going. But we are here at a crossroad calling you to turn back from sin, turn to righteousness, obey the living God, the true and living God, that you may have life and that you may have it in abundance. Jesus Christ is calling you today. Jesus Christ can set you free today. Jesus Christ can can make you brand new today. You're not going to get it from alcohol. The Bible says do not be filled with wine. Do not get drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible, God wants you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Not with, not with drunkenness, not with food but with the Holy Spirit. Jesus can set you free today. Turn to Him. Turn to Him before it's too late. Thank you for being a soldier. You're awesome. I love, I love being part of this. I love it. You see, see how we rattle the darkness? Just darkness just that's right just Man. came out is a success uh, I, the yeah cops left convicted and, uh, oh you uh yeah. you I were got, I got, you I got, were I counseling got them spit on my i got spit on some lady filled her yeah, uh, uh, mouth full of water and she spit sorry. on me and i was speaking to her politely too I yeah she can hey, that's reason she asked me a few questions she swore to me and well said, thank okay, god i've been let's talk and i'll then, come uh, back i answered some few questions she was listening, and then she decided. Don't tell, don't, don't tell people who own slaves not to, not to own slaves. That's not what I said. I said.
don't tell slave don't owners. tell slave owners not to be slaves. Exactly. Slave owners too. Yes. Sir, sir, she came up to me. She just walked up to me, she asked and I'm answering her a question. Alone now. I'm answering her a question. You guys have done a good enough job of walking up traffic. I said, don't tell a slave holder not to be a slave owner. That's not what I said. I said the issue. Yeah, what are you saying? I said that you, 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 women have a right to choose their own sorry. Yeah, what I said. You, you, have you, have right you have the right to kill your own. You have a right to kill children? Yep. On for me to sue you? You have a right to raise children in the foster care system? Yes. Yes. Christian adopts children more than anybody else. We're here to just back up. Christians, do you know how many children that Christians adopt? Do you know how many children that are in the foster care system? No, no, no. no, no. Are you right, though? Why, why, why? Sir, sir, don't get in his face, sir. Because how are you taking the moral position? We're having a conversation. You don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be belligerent. Do you adopt and raise children in the foster care system? This woman, her argument is that if you don't own a slave, you don't, you can't say that slavery is wrong. I believe that woman should choose. If you don't have a, a uterus, you shouldn't tell a woman that abortion is wrong. It's equivalent of saying if you're not, if you don't own a slave, don't tell a slave owner. You guys are so brainwashed. You guys are so brainwashed. God help you guys. Back off. This is a lost generation. Back the fuck off. You should tell her it's not. No, okay no, no. You should you, know better. You, you, my friend, you back the my fuck friend. Off. You should tell her not to kill babies. Okay. She's not killing anybody. I'm gonna fucking slug you. I, I, Why are you slugging me? Go to jail. Exactly. You wanna sleep in jail tonight? You wanna sleep in jail tonight? I don't. See, see, we got a man here who wants to do physical violence and a woman who wants to kill babies. Yeah. Do you guys have kids on board? Do you, do you have children now? You be so what if, what if your, your mother If you touch him, you go to jail. I'm not gonna fucking touch you. Don't fucking follow me. It's right. He's not following you. She came to us. What if you're a minor? She came to us. Remember that. You don't believe in God. I got her on camera. She came to us. And now you're harassing us. No, I'm not. We're here. We have our sign here. What are you talking about, sir? That's my body. That's my body. Do you have a uterus? Do you know it's your body? Do you have Some women die because they can't give birth to their children. Uh, do you have, Some women die because you have they can't give birth to children. Do you have two heartbeats? Do you have two heartbeats? So then it's not your body then? It is my body. Do you tell your body when to make? It's the baby's body. Do you tell your body? It's a baby. It's, it's not a your baby. body. Do you know how it's many women? Do you know what? No, no, no. Well, you said it's a, it's a what? It's a fetus. Do you say it's a fetus? Shut the fuck up. You said it's a fetus. Shut up. Go look up the meaning of fetus. Go look up the meaning of fetus. Go look up the meaning of fetus. This woman is saying that the child in the womb is a baby, but it's not a baby. That's. Do you know what a? You know what fetus? Do you know what fetus? You know the meaning of fetus? You don't have two heartbeats, man. It's not your body. It's not your body, ma'am. It's not your body. It's a, It's another body living inside of your body. It's not your body. It's another body inside your body. This. This ge this generation have a mind disease, a mind disease. They think killing a child in a womb is a is a virtue. What an evil generation! What an evil generation! And I never come to I never preach in North Vancouver before, but I'll come back again. This is where we're supposed to be. This is where we're supposed to be. That's why we made a YouTube. We made a. It was we thought it was an accident, but. The Lord has a plan for you, my friend. It does. It yes. does. Yes. Stop. It's, this is this is a loss. This is a it loss. Is. It's crazy, right? Noah. It's like yes. the days, like the days it of is. Noah. It People is. will be lovers of self. Lovers Golfers, of pleasure. Revilers. Rather than lover of God. They That's love right. pleasure. Right. They love their pleasure. The reason they kill babies is not because just because they want to kill babies. It's because they want to keep their sex. And they, and they wanna they don't want to deal with the baby. Yeah, they want they don't want to do with the consequence. That's what this she's telling me. The lady here was telling me, I don't have a, 
um, uh, I mean, uh, I have the cho choice. Uh, and I, I enjoy masturbating. God is fake. God is fake. Oh. Well, uh, listen to you, lad. There's kids around here. You're talking about you love, you love masturbating. Well, there's children around here. Perverts. 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 Stop being a pervert. Not to mention a loser. A loser. Check, this guy just said something derogatory in front of children. See, they have no shame. They have no shame. It's like shame is gone. What happened to good old shame? You're so full of hate for babies in the womb. I was like, oh, I'm I forgot to take more tracks from my It's bed. not even babies? What, are, what is it? It's a, it's a peanut. You know what's another it's a It's a mango. You know when they say that you can't, if they can't survive outside the womb? Yeah. Well, what about an old person that needs to be fed? That That's what I'm die. saying. Just if euthanize them? Oh yeah. yeah. That's what they do. Well, the, They've been doing that, you know. They've been euthanizing. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is everlasting life. Amen it is. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. You can't get to heaven on a roller skate. Oh, you roll right by the pearly gate. <laughs> You're getting loopy. <laughs> Jesus can set you free. Turn to Jesus. The devil will lead you to eternal damnation, to eternal death. But Jesus Christ will leave you, lead you to eternal life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Oh, you should be roped. Whip Turn to Jesus me, Christ. Whip it out. This man, this here. man is one is, is harassing me, sexual one, harassing. Go what a pervert. Go home, you fucking wanker. Go home. You're a pervert, sir. Go home. Stop corrupting children's mind. You You're home. a pervert, sir. Stop perverting your ways. Stop perverting your ways. Turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin. No, I'm not shame. Shame is for doing something wrong. Don't you understand the concept of shame? Jesus can set you free. Jesus can free your perverted mind and set you on a path of righteousness. Jesus can set your feet on the rock of righteousness so that you can live and have your being. Ma'am, I got you on camera. I got you on camera, so don't lie. I got you on camera. You, you want to assault my friend, I got you on tape. You go, no, you, you guys were the aggressors. You came up to us and started yelling at us. We didn't yell at you, we were preaching. You came at us and started yelling at us because you were angry at us. No, you guys came to harass us. I got you on tape. No, I was over there. She came to me and started yelling angrily at me in my face. And then she walks away. So don't lie. Don't lie. I got you on tape. Yeah. Jesus is the way. Maybe. Not maybe. He is the way. The only way. Not Muhammad, not Buddha, not uh, Hari, not Krishna. Only Jesus Christ is the way. It doesn't matter what you're taking in the It's not one person. We're talking 10 to 15 people telling us the same thing. No. You guys need to have objective standards and reasoning. We are looking Ma'am, ma'am, we're not yelling at anybody. We aren't yelling at anybody. It's called preaching, ma'am. It's called it's protected under religious freedom. That's your police. It's called preaching. You don't care about your job. You don't care about your job. We've got 10 to 15 people calling us. It's okay. Telling us the screaming at little girls. Little girls, yeah, of course. She doesn't want to know. She doesn't want to know, though. She doesn't want to know. Okay. No. We're talking 11 to 15. What does he have to see? Have a uh, photo evidence that we do to prove it? You guys can let us talk. Anybody can make up anything. Are you going to let us talk?
I, I don't like the way police in this nation is turning. It's like... And we just keep getting called back so, because there's young girls that are reporting you guys. A guy over here pulled down his pants. I told you that a guy over here, I pointed him out. He didn't do anything. He pulled down his pants and moved me in front of all the children. And you guys didn't do anything about it. But you, you're going to believe that I got him on camera. I pointed him out to you right here and you didn't do anything. But you're okay. You, but First of all, not me personally. Well, maybe you as a female officer, like I thought you. Okay, well, I pointed him out. He didn't. Right there, he was there. He didn't arrest him. He didn't do anything. What? We have photo evidence. You don't have anything. All you have is just. No, it just confirmed that the police police in this are turned around. You, you, you are the one who tried to punch my friend. I got you on tape. I got you on tape. I got you on camera. You're a violent man. You're a violent man. You're a violent because I'm not afraid of violent men. I'm not afraid of you. That's why I'm pushing it. I'm not afraid of you. I'm on a in, a in a public sidewalk. You can walk by. You got legs. You don't have to stand up. You don't have to stop. You never seen a preacher on the street before. Wow, good. Wow, um, Not anybody who's so hey, sorry. Sorry about that. You've never seen a young girls. That's not okay. You're Approach you who? I'm not I'm I'm on the sidewalk. You approach me. You guys over here supported a guy who pulled down his pants and mooned everybody. That's the kind of people you support. Wicked people. I never called anybody names. I never No, I never. I never. I just say you I just She says she she says she likes abortion. That's killing babies. Those are the children you wanted to be born. No. She Why wants to, she baby? likes to kill babies. Yeah, not babies uh, see, see, you see, that's what I say. The Jews in the, in 1938, you guys don't have any more any moral concept. In 1938, the Germany, the Germans called the Jews that Jews are not human beings. That's why they can gas them. That's the same thing you are doing. First you say they are not babies, and then it's okay to kill them because they're not babies. They're not human. That's how the mind works. Turn to Jesus Christ and turn to righteousness. Brother, 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 let's, let's, brother, it's okay. We, Why would I hurt you? Jesus says, because I don't trust you. I don't no, trust anyone. Man, the, the law, the law, look. Sorry, man. I was yes. just talking with my hands. Look, okay? the I truth is on our side, man. Too, you don't need I'm to. Fine, you don't need to, okay? you don't need to. You don't need to engage your officers. Okay. Well, they, you guys know each other now. Okay. You know that she's a, she, know she, she's okay with killing babies. Okay. Really oh yeah, you're going to embarrass me, please, If you have oh, buddy? a baby, buddy, um, embarrassing. It's okay. Let's let's let's. She 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 spoke. She said it's okay to kill babies. You're provoking. But but how did you how did you tell how who told you that who told you that how do you how can you corroborate that information how can you corroborate it I have a camera I have a camera to prove it I have a camera I think you're taking a side yeah you are taking you have taken a side you're supposed to be neutral you're not taking a you're supposed to no you're supposed to be for the law to yell at oh, people while I hear walking no it's, it's a people. sidewalk you can they have permits you don't no oh, there you go the law abiding officers that think it's okay to uh, do it. Uh, according to the city bylaw according to north vancouver you city bylaw seconds to get out of here you're getting arrested for harassment according to i've already been arrested if you arrest me i'm gonna have a case against the police because we're not doing anything illegal yeah we're not we're actually not doing anything illegal we're not doing anything illegal so if you want to arrest me then arrest me and then i'll take it to court and then i'll win and i'll get money okay this is brother guys it's okay.
Okay, we got video. We got video. We got video evidence. Let, let them let them yeah. uh, file a case. We can tell which side you are on, baby killer. A police officer who killed baby. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys, brothers. Let's let's uh, gather together. Let's pray. Enforce the, the sin. Enforce baby killing. We know lock that. Up, lock up the Christians. Lock up the ones who care about your baby more than you yourself. Lock us up. Man, the Christians are adopt. You already chose a side. You need to get right with Jesus. The Christians are. Like I said, so, so okay. Cars okay, but we're not doing anything illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it's up to you if you want to be fascist or not, okay? It's okay. It's up to you if you want You can to sue us. We'll sue you for religious freedom because we have religious... It is. It is. I don't. I didn't call anyone. You have to prove that in court of law. I have it on tape. You're going by... You're getting conflicting information from liars who make, who make up stuff. You, you're citing them. Why don't you... Why don't I show you my video evidence? You are the arbitrator of good and bad. Christians, we don't call people sluts. We, you, if anybody that knows Christian will know we don't use that word. It shows that you're taking a side. You're gonna go to the lake of fire. You need to go to heaven. This original beef jerky I got is the best. It's the best. Relax. There's no. Don't engage the police. It doesn't look good. Yeah, bro. I feel you, but what are you showing to the younger generation? You're sitting here well, police officers. Well, we actually care very much. Well, yeah. Why would you My wife's not this My mom was raised when she was young. She had an abortion. I can't tell you the length of people. I wish you had to do it. 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 Uh, man, who is, who is, who is the uh, high-ranking officer here? Huh? I would like to speak to the city's uh, supervisor. Your superior. Okay, I would like to talk to her when she's done. Uh, no we didn't call anybody of that that that's that's a claim but it that has no backup with evidence are you going to have do you want our evidence do you want the evidence officer do you want us to provide the evidence with all due respect Guys, you guys insult criminals now. You guys protect criminals. And you oppress the good people. What happened? It's a possibility. Yeah. Because what? So it's just a job? I, I didn't say that. I have no reason to say that. Bible like, says I'm if you looking at a group, if you, if you love the world more, more than God, like, you're an enemy of God. Get it doesn't make sense. sense. What, what will it profit if a man hates no the whole world and loses his soul? I put what's on man. Do I seem rational right now? There you go. When we're here, right with God. your job can't it's, pay it's your not irrational to hold up a sign and say this is what I believe. Politics. Right? It's not, but when you're following people and getting in their face when they tell you to go away, that is harassment. I didn't no, no, I got a guy following me around today. Uh, harassment. I report. I pointed it out to the officers. They didn't do anything. To me. I got. I was preaching. I trying to get this guy get in my face. I got them all on tape. I think there's a there's a there's a imbalance of judgment. I think you guys are coming from what people are telling you, but we have photo evidence, video evidence to, to show all of that.